Alrighty everybody, it is I, uh, your redstone wizard, here in my redstone testing world where we're going to do another tutorial today. So, um, you know, most of you guys probably haven't uh, watched many of my videos, new subscribers, a lot of them lately. But I do have this nice redstone testing world and uh, I've worked on a nice eight segment, dis sorry, seven segment display that uh, we're looking at doing in an upcoming video if we get some interest flowing I'll show you guys how to do that it's uh, it's pretty quick simple and easy um, and allows you to be able to actually stack it so that you can continue the count over multiple blocks now as well we do have uh, this over here which is what we are going to be looking at creating today it is a beautiful system but we also have other things here within this uh, such as hidden chest systems door activation systems um, as well as shulker box uh, loading systems and other things like that which are available for us and if I get some interest then we'll go ahead and take a look at what some of these other options such as Jeb doors um, and other things are but for now let's go ahead and take a look at what we're doing today which is going to be this thing over here um, which if any of you guys have watched my previous videos you'll recognize that this one is actually an automatic furnace array so I'm gonna gather up all the items and I'll be back with you in just a moment alrighty ladies and gents so let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this now the system that I'm gonna set up with you guys today is actually gonna be a system I personally prefer because it is a system which gives us um, you know a mass smelting ability as well as an option for gathering XP now I'm going to create this in just a, a small segment I'm only going to do about six furnaces however this is something that you can actually bring up to 15 furnaces long you can go to the very end of the uh, the redstone output of course if you go beyond that the last one won't be a part of the system and yeah just it makes things no work so 15 is the max number of um, of furnaces that you can have in the system but today I'm gonna show you guys with six now to start off we're going to start at the bottom and build this upwards so we're gonna start out with the way to make it so that you can choose that I want this to be an XP furnace or not so we have four blocks right here and we're gonna go ahead and place four torches on the edge of those blocks okay now I'm gonna go ahead and place one block that comes up to the side like that and we're gonna go ahead and pop into sneak mode and plant a bunch of these beautiful hoppers down alright now I did say that we're gonna do six so I'll go ahead and throw two more down here and two more of these repeater rits ha ah, torches as well as two more hoppers and that gives us uh, the full six setup now the next step to do is to go ahead and put your furnaces on this so you can stay on the ground if you want and you can just kind of do a hop and and, and throw it on maneuver uh, which I find is, is relatively easy you can also just kind of spam them against the uh, side of the other furnace once you got it up uh, survival mode of course is a whole whole slew of different uh, options but right there that allows us to have all these hoppers locked so even if this furnace up here actually does uh, run it's it's completely locked so the items will stay inside the furnace and we can grab them out so how do you go ahead and set this up so you don't have that anymore well we do have options here where now I like to go every other hop uh, every other one here as a redstone repeater and then we'll go ahead and do uh, some redstone dust for the rest so the reason I do this is because you don't have to have repeaters on every single one if you alternate like this it does allow you to have that redstone dot go straight in and you're still running with some gas now we'll go ahead and pull this right back out over here and uh, whenever we have uh, well let me just go ahead and pull it out because we're done with this now uh, whenever we have a lever over in here uh, that can signify whether or not we are talking about the system on or the system off so pull it down now that's out and so anything that we got going through here will come out now I actually don't recommend having uh, your thing here because that is gonna actually power your output hopper alright 
uh, I recommend having your, your system set up just a little bit further out. And we'll go ahead and as soon as we get the decorative blocks and everything thrown in, we'll have all that set up. But for now, let's go ahead and put our final output right here. And that'll, that'll be basically out to, to a chest. Now, when we go ahead and put in the rest of this, uh, we'll start with our fuel system. So we're gonna go ahead and throw a bunch of hoppers in the back. Now, some of you may have built automatic furnaces before. Uh, this design is a design inspired by the great Mumbo of Jumbo. Um, and with this, we'll go ahead and throw in all those. We'll go ahead and take and this is where we have important decisions to be made, and that is directionality. Where are you putting your uh, your input to the system? Are you putting it on the same side as the output, or are you putting it on the other side? Now, I am going to go ahead and place mine on the same as my output, signified by that blue line there. So we do want to go ahead and make sure that we set this up to have it flowing in that direction. So we'll go ahead, go into sneak mode, pop one down, pop one down, pop one down, pop one down, pop one down. Now, you would assume that we have the input, so we'll go ahead and pop one more on the outside so that we can recognize that as an input. Now, items will travel down along this front, and this is where we come into the beautiful part of this design. We're gonna go ahead and check whenever an item enters into this back, uh, this back hopper here through this comparator and we're going to go ahead and slap one of these beautiful blocks right there so as soon as an item enters into that it will then go ahead and turn off this redstone torch we're going to go ahead and place one of these good old repeaters right here it's important that it's a repeater right here because we don't want it to actually touch this Comparator. If that was the case, we would need this hopper to be completely full before it entered its state. And that's not how we want this. We don't want any delay whatsoever on this repeater. More than one delay on this repeater causes you to actually uh, have a bit of a problem with the, the first input hopper just sucking out items. And you'll see what I mean in just a second. So we're going to go ahead and down this line, we're going to go ahead and not on the top but on the bottom, we're going to place in one of these on every single line. All right, and then right above that, we're going to go ahead and place in a piece of redstone dust. And we're going to bring that down the entire line. That way we can make sure that uh, it's all linked up. And as soon as we get it to the back here, we're going to see that the, the redstone itself is actually going to uh, turn on. And I can't see it because I'm not up there, which is say, yeah, let me get up there. I'm in creative mode. Uh, so <laughs> you can you can see that once this is in here. Now one of the great things about this is that it actually does completely lock all of these hoppers down below, but not lock the hoppers up above. So as we go ahead and put an item in here, that item will then make its way all the way down to the end here. Once it reaches the end, it'll be recognized by the comparator and this system will turn off. By that time, there'll be one item in every single hopper that you go down the system and then boom, falls right through every single one and that causes this hopper to be empty and the comparator to then take off. Having no delay on this allows you to not have extra items falling out of these hoppers, which really only happens on this first bad boy. So the next setup is to do it out through the front. So we do have a very similar system that we're doing with that as well to provide an even distribution of items through the top as well. And uh, again, we have to decide in which direction we're going, but we did already decide through there, so we'll go ahead and just, just set this up um, under the same directionality. Now you do actually have option of changing the directionality for each side. So if you wanted the input for this, to be different, it absolutely could be. Uh, in my world, I did create a redstone elevator for items that allowed it to kind of pop into this input uh, without any fuss or muss. So we'll go ahead and again put one hopper out the side as an input. 
Um, even though it's probably, it, you know, all of them here wouldn't exactly work very well. But we'll go ahead and uh, you would you would not be able to put your blocks on top of these hoppers because that will lock them. Uh, you would need to go ahead and make sure that we're going out this side of the system now. So we're going to go ahead and have a block up right here that is going to have our comparator into it with the nice bit of redstone and we will put the repeater in but I'm gonna change the directionality real quick because helps to go like this boom down the line boom and then redstone over the top now I do recommend that this be a decorative block Now you see right here how this redstone is now entering this comparator that means bad juju uh, it would mean that this hopper has to completely fill up of items before it can happen. So remember, repeater, on no delay, straight down the line and we will be all set. So, let's go ahead and clear out the inventory there and we will grab ourselves out just a couple of things. Uh, let's start out with some coal um, for our thing. And let's go ahead and what do we want to burn, guys? Let's go ahead and mm, you know what? Because it's creative, let's cook up some wet sponges. So, uh, if we come right on over here, we get to see how the whole dealio works. And you know what? Let's go ahead and I know, I know, I know, real quick. I'm just going to go ahead and throw in that lever so that we can see this system work when I flick it. So I'll go ahead and uh, draw this in and I'll plant the lever right there. You would want to, you know, decorify it. Decorify. Decorate. De Man, my English. You would decorate this in a, in a much more, you know, pretty fashion. Maybe something along the lines of, of having that there and that there would, would start to do the trick a little bit, I guess. But, um, you know, you, you can do this in whatever fashion may float your boat. Um, you know, I'm showing you the, the guts of it and you can make it pretty. So uh, we put all of the inputs over in here so the output could be in the same spot. So we'll go ahead in the back here and let's just throw in all the coal that we got and we'll go ahead and look in one of these furnaces and uh, we'll see in a second, boom, coal. And we'll see in a second, boom, coal. Now what's happening here, and you'll see it in the back, boom, boom. As Soon as something gets in there, that turns off and it lets all the items fall right on through and so that's super helpful now um, you'll notice that with the fuel you, you know especially if you're using something like coal blaze rods um, you know things that, that go higher you do end up going through you know a significant amount of them if you're going to be using something like lava buckets in this system, you've got to be a bit careful because you will end up backing up the comparator, um, you know, because it's a non-stackable item, they, they swell up quick. So if you're going to do lava, you can't have many that many buckets in the system. If you're looking at a 15 furnace system, though, uh, with 15 buckets in the furnaces themselves, five buckets per hopper, and, and you're talking about, you know, a significant amount there. You're talking about like 75 for the hoppers plus 15, you're talking about 90 buckets uh, worth of lava, which is not that hard with shulker boxes these days, but there you have it. Now I've got six different uh, furnaces here, and uh, because of that, these bottom are going to have 10, while these um, end ones should be running uh, just a little, no, no, all 10? I thought I put in 64. Mm, mm, there you have it. Um, it's because they do get stuck in the actual hoppers themselves back here when the items don't run through all the way. Uh, let's see, it'll be right here. Boom, there's one. And boom, there's one. And boom, there's one. So they fall through, they just don't fall into it. And that is that is a little bit of a flaw that we do have with this system, but it does work most of the time. Now, again, we'll go ahead and throw in uh, 64 of these wet sponges, and we'll see that that furnace system will just light right up.
Boom, there it goes. And it will evenly distribute the items across all of them, which is just fantastic. Now, um, I, I recommend myself in my system because sometimes I do put precious stuff in there. If you take like just a, a regular button of any kind and you put that bad boy um, right on this same block with the torch, you'll be able to go ahead and say, you know what, I know there's extra items. Boom. And they'll fall right on through and you'll know that you get all of your correct items into these uh, to be burnt right up. Now, right now we have all these locks, so as you see, the items are staying inside of the hopper, and that allows us to collect XP. Uh, but if we do want, we have the option of flicking this lever here, which will turn off all but this one because of the way I set it up. I really should have kept it the way I had it the first time, you know what I mean? Boom, right there, and boom, right there. Still... Oh, I wrecked that. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I did that. Yeah, I did that. Whoopsie. See, and this is this is why they tell you don't do redstone on camera. Man. There we go. That'll go now. So, uh, as the items smelt up, they will fall straight out of the furnace uh, into the end right here so that you can get uh, the what I like to call the blast setup and I didn't cut it even though I goofed um, so you guys got to see uh, pretty well how quick that runs through and it, like I said you can take this bad boy out 15 furnaces long and the reason we say 15 is because out of this repeater right here you only get a signal strength of 15. So the furthest you can go is 15. That last little dot will turn on. Um, and, you know, the, the big thing is, if you don't want this setup right here, like if you know this is a blast furnace for always smelting major amounts of glass, then you don't need that system down there at all. You can just leave it be. But there are a lot of people out there that'll do something like smelt up a bunch of stone and, and they want the XP that they're getting from that stone. So they can go ahead and uh, use that, that level on off in order to give you that. Or if you know that you always, always, that you never want to give up your XP in this system, then get rid of these hoppers and get a little bit resource friendly you'll only have to worry about those so this is a quick and easy way now um, I mentioned that I used an item elevator in order to be able to bring that um, input up because you know it is it is pretty high up and I actually have one of those item elevators that I created right over here in my redstone testing world so let's just do, 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 slide on over um, and this is just a, a very simple item elevator that when things enter into here uh, it fires off and the items do run right out the top and you'll see boom 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 there they go alright now um, this does have empty uh, dispensers dropper sorry so it's not considered silent uh, and as well the torches I can't wait until the new update when they get rid of that sound it'll be so glorious also lag much much lag as a result of these um, but super speedy super speedy look I got all that right up there so um, that is going to do it for me guys I'm gonna go ahead and sign off but I shall see you guys later and again thank you like comment and please subscribe I need it this is your redstone wizard bye